My passion and what I have devoted my life to for the last 25 years is the heart and healing human trauma. So I have learned the most important thing that I've learned is that the heart, without that, there is no possibility for us to truly, deeply heal. So when I'm speaking, whenever I'm holding space for someone, I know that I need to be in my heart because this is the safe space. This is the space that has the long wave, that gives space for us to drop into, to feel ourselves, to feel what we never give ourselves time to feel. In our heart, it awakens our senses so that as we listen to our hearts, we can listen with our sense of sight, vision, with our sense of hearing, with our sense of feeling, so that we use our senses to be able to communicate and receive information from our hearts. If you feel your heart, if you come into your heart and just feel into first just the physical tissue and you breathe into it, there's a place that we can find that we can rest. And as we go deeper, we can access the deeper inner dimensional spaces of our heart where we can journey and we can really access information because it really is a, true, a tool for us to receive our truth. So as you see that I am speaking to you from my heart, there's a softness. But if I start to come out of my heart space and I start to go into that place where most all of us live, I start coming up into my mind and it completely changes the energy. And if you listen to the cadence of my mind as I'm speaking, all of a sudden it's not that long wave that has a lot of space for you to feel. There's a cadence and I have lots to say and I have a lot, lot to, of information to get out. And I become a different kind of channel. And you might notice that all the sensitivity of your body starts to be a little bit shut down and closed. But you're accessing another channel, which is also beautiful, but it has more information. It has, it's more discerning, it's more scientific, it's more didactic. So if you want that kind of information, we can access it from our, our minds. But we are going to get a different kind of information. So if you imagine if you went inside and you just opened to your mind and you ask your mind to tell you, what is an ocean? And if you allow a space to listen to your mind, it has all kinds of information that it can give you. An ocean is, and listen. And listen to how it feels as the mind gives you information. It knows a lot. And it took a lot to learn all of this. So just breathe and feel that. And if you ask your mind another question, you might ask, mind, what do you need in order to be safe in this world? And you listen. Your mind knows what it needs to be safe. So just go ahead and listen. What does it say to you? What does it need? And you might notice as you listen how you feel in your body. Notice the cadence, the rhythm, the spaces. So as you listen to this information, you can see how it's going to shift as we come back down into that space of heart. And as you come back into that place of heart and that expansive place where we can receive a greater range of information, let's ask our hearts. As we sink deep into it and relax, and you might first notice that as you come back into your heart, there's a softening. There's a deepening of your breath. There's an openness, a sweetness. Yeah. 
And then if you ask your heart, what is an ocean? And you give that over to your heart and listen. And again, feel those spaces and feel your senses. Feeling, sensation. And notice how that feels. And if you ask your heart, really to your heart, my heart, what do you need in order to be safe in this world? Your heart will tell you. And listen. And as you receive that, notice how that feels in your body. Now you may have noticed that <clears throat> the mind had a different set of needs. That what it needs in the world perhaps is money in the bank, a nice car, a good job, security, support, a family, locks on the doors, a wall, a castle, who knows. It needs something that's very exterior. But when you really listen to the heart, what the heart needs if you may have noticed, is it needs to be unified, it needs love, acceptance, unity, yeah. And in that simplicity, there's a ground to build on. And if you feel your heart, now that you've made that connection and you can see that it gives a different kind of information and you, and you hold your heart, and you just feel it. And let your heart know that I'm here. I see you. And notice how it feels just to be acknowledged. Just to be seen. And let that flow into your body, that gratitude and that connection. And know that this connection to your heart is something that you can build. That this is probably one of the most important relationships that you have in your life. So, thank you. From my heart to yours. <laughs> <laughs>